Congratulations on completing your Alex Math placement. Now let's take a look at your score and talk about what that score actually means. This student earned a score of 35. That does not mean 35% of the 25 questions that he answered. It means 35% of the total 314 topics in the Alex library. This works out to equal about 110, which means that in 25 problems, this student showed mastery in 110 topics. On the right side of your screen, you will see the math course that you were placed into based on this score. The course that you need to take is dependent on your major, so you will want to discuss this with your academic advisor. On the next screen, you will see a breakdown of which topics you actually mastered. You'll notice that if you add up all the possible topics, they will add up to 314. If you need to have a higher score to place into the course you need, looking at this list is going to be a good way to know which topics you need more practice on. After you complete your first assessment, Alex is going to generate some prep and learning modules specifically for you based on the skills that you need to practice. This student was placed into the Prep for College Algebra Prep and Learning module. This placement is appropriate if the student is trying to get a score that will allow them to take either Math 120 or Math 124. If you need to take a class higher than Math 124, you will need to either be enrolled in the Prep for Pre-Calculus or the Prep for Calculus Prep and Learning modules. Please email alexplacement at unlv.edu if you need to change your prep and learning modules. When you begin your prep and learning modules, you are going to see your learning pie, and you're gonna see a different score inside of that learning pie. I mentioned that there are 314 total topics in the entire Alex library, but if you only need to master prep for college algebra, there are 219 topics that you are trying to master. Please take some time and click around in your learning pie and discover for yourself what you need to learn. Once you are ready to start learning, you're going to click Start My Path in the upper left-hand corner. Now the program will decide for you which topic you should practice first. This student is set to practice fraction division, which is part of the real numbers category. You'll notice that there's an arrow underneath that topic. This will allow you to switch between topics if there is something else that you would like to practice instead. Please take some time to click around on your learning page to learn how to navigate everything. Again, here's how you can switch between lessons. You'll probably want to go look at the subject area where you have mastered the fewest topics and start there. It's helpful to take notes on these lessons just as if you were in a math class so that it will help you in your practice so that you can get a higher score on your next assessment. If you go back to your home screen, there's some really important information here. First, it talks about your next placement assessment. It tells you how many attempts that you have left and when you can take your next one. Before you take your second attempt, you just have to wait 24 hours. Before you take your third attempt, you have to wait 24 hours, plus you have to work at least three hours in the prep and learning modules. That same goes for the fourth and fifth attempts. You must wait 24 hours and you must do that extra practice time. 
You can also use this screen to help you navigate your progress so far. You can look at your timeline to see how much time you've spent in the prep and learning modules. You can continue your path in the prep and learning modules, or you can click over and switch to your learning pie to see which areas you need to work on the most. If you have any questions at all about the prep and learning modules or how to complete a reassessment, please email alexplacement at unlb.edu.